Hey everybody, it's Steve Cook with Premier Guitar and PremierGuitar.com. Today we are taking a look at the Boss GT1B Bass Effects Processor. It has a lot in this little package. Um, it is sort of, you know, small in size. I don't want to say diminutive, uh, but it is smaller than previous Boss um, all-in-one sort of processors. Um, it's really straightforward and it's really easy to use. Uh, disclaimer, first of all, this has a USB port to hook this up to a computer. And uh, what you can do is basically download a bunch of sounds from the Boss website or you can exchange presets. Um, that's not a new technology, but it's a pretty convenient technology. So you plug in and go. Um, today, where it's impossible to go through every single sound, every single set, every single setting, we're gonna go through a few things and just kind of show you an overview of the pedal and let you dive in for yourself. Today's signal chain is very simple. It's a Yamaha BB1024X into the GT1B. And coming out of that, we're going into the Aguilar Tone Hammer using the DI on that, into an Apogee Quartet, into Pro Tools. So um, the controls are very simple. Uh, over on this side, we have a pedal, which is a volume pedal uh, at its core, but also an expression pedal on certain presets. Uh, we've got big, fat foot switches over here. Built-in tuner, uh, which is pretty cool because you can hit both of these at once, and then it lights up. And look at that. That's how we tune. You can. So where does that help? Well, on a dark stage, um, you're not looking at this little screen, you're looking at the big light, which is pretty hip. So that's right, we're back in tune. So um, we pop that back on here. We also have a looper on this side, which is pretty cool, 32 seconds of loop capability. Um, the effects can all be change to your heart's content. And again, we're not gonna go through every single effect, but um, they are all sort of listed right here, the, ba the basic effects, the FX limiter, overdrive distortion, the preamp, the second effects of the mods, delays, reverb, then there's the editing switch. There's also a secondary easy editing switch up here. Um, we'll go over here, these are some of the parameter knobs that you can use for the easy editor, or you can actually scroll through sounds, which is, pretty easy, or you can go up and down with your foot switch on your sounds. So um, let's look at the easy editor real fast. So if you want to get into this and just basically change some really simple, uh, simple portions of what you have going on, then right here you have the tone, the vibes, and the echo. Now, again, the tone can be changed by turning this wheel, basic, slap contours. It has these preset um, parameters in here on these different these different uh, sections. So then the vibe section, well that's got your chorus, that's got your deep chorus and your phasers and things like this. And then you have your delays and your, actually your echo is going to, not your delays, the, uh, the reverb. But there is uh, some delay on that at the very end of it. So you have delay and reverb on the end. So you can change any of your sounds really quickly and easily with these. Uh, if you don't like the if you don't like the presets, which has 99 presets. So, um, so let's go through a couple of presets on this. You can just kind of hear what the pedal does. And then I'll show you some things as we roll through that. All right, so here we are on the obligatory uh, filter funk uh, setting number 15 on this pedal. And uh, I'm gonna show you some cool things that you can do with the effects uh, in this section right here in a preset. So here's some sound. <laughs> Now, let's say you want to add a little beef to it. Let's hit the overdrive. So now we can control this within this setting. So you don't have to go to a different setting or have something different um, or a different preset. So. And now you can actually turn the overdrive on and off. Within that parameter. So you can do that with any of these, uh, these effects right here. Let's turn the preamp off. And now we just have a little bit of the, uh, the limiter on there. So now we're just dry. Hear that pop of delay. Throw the preamp back on. Well, now we're back home. So there's a lot of 
of things you can do within each preset. So let's go to another preset, which again, you can scroll this way. Or you can tap down or up. If you need to be a B3 player. the overdrive off. Alright, let's try something else. So again, as you can see, you have a lot of control over each one of these presets and you have endless, endless possibilities with this pedal. So you can hook it up to the computer again via USB. Uh, right now, this is actually powered uh, by battery. We don't have this plugged in. So you just plug in uh, into the input and boom, it's on. Uh, it is a stereo out. There's a, uh, right now we're mono out. And uh, you can hook up to, I believe, three separate foot switches. Uh, to control other parameters of this as well. So you could sort of have an entire pedal board layout uh, with just this as your central sort of uh, command center. So uh, GT1B, pretty flexible, uh, available everywhere. Make sure you go to your local store and check it out for yourself. Or you can read the written review in Premier Guitar, premierguitar.com, and check out somebody else's words on this thing. So uh, for premierguitar.com, this is Steve Cook. I'll see you real soon. Thanks. <laughs>